Hello, my name is Manky and welcome to our world's preview. So, unfortunately, I have not been consistent for the last several days. And unfortunately for me, I have decided to watch movies, spend time with family and all this kind of stuff. So, I have not been active for the last couple of days. But to make it up to you, I will do something that I have never done. Do a double upload. Two videos in probably one day or such. So that way we can finish it up, our planes, and then see what I can do with the Swiss system coming up before our world championship game with the world's qualifying stage on October 9th. So, I will do the next team, which is going to be Team Wales from Vietnam. 32nd year residents and now world's participants in their first year. I believe that this is the most exciting team in all of Vietnam and probably one of the most exciting teams in the world, even though they're way below GAM standards. So, I believe that maybe this could be a chance for Team Wales to do something here. So, let's just meet our players, shall we? Now, the first player we're going to talk about is our good old friend that Jaya aka Sparta 54% kill participating on a 2.8 KDA with 22% damage and 21% gold. Renekton 19 times, Cassante 11 times, Jack 6 times. They can also play a little bit of Aatrox, he also played 5 times. Now I believe that this is going to be really tough for him, especially with, if the meta goes top heavy, that if his Renekton is good, he could be playing, and so does Katante if it's good, but what happens if those champions get pinched or something? He has to play like the Aatrox or the Jacks which I don't have a good feeling about. I just don't have a good feeling about. So it's time for him to just show me the money, prove me wrong, and see if he's good enough to with those flexibility champions. So let's see what you got, kid. Next is Bean J in the jungle. 18% goal on a 14% damage with 71% kill participation, 4.2 KDA. He plays your big old bruiser champions, your Sidwanis, your Vi's, your Markites, and he also played like four games of Nocturne, which he accumulated a 6.6 KDA. So that means I think he can have that little pocket champion he wants to use whenever like all the bands can be used. And I feel like he could be like the, you know, the wild card in this team. The unpredictability of course. But of course in order for him to do that, he and his mid laner, which we're going to get to later, um, have to coincide, have to synergize, of course, in order to win. So he has to have literally the dog in him in order to win. So, that's our boy Bean J, making sure he can, you know, capitalize on his opportunity right now in this moment with the whole world watching and to win in the play-ins. So yeah, Bean J has to perform well, especially with some of the champions being still were there in the meta. So, all eyes are him. Next in the mid lane is our boy Glory. And if you look at the picture right now, I know what you're thinking. They're just two people, of course, looking at shoes and looking cool and all kind of stuff. Just remember that Glory is the one on the left, everybody. The left. Not the right, the left. Now, Glory, mid laner, plays 10 games on Ari, a couple of games on Nico, 7 on Azir, 6 on LeBlanc, 6 on Jace. That's basically it. He did it with 22.8% of his gold, with 28%, 28% of his damage, and a 4.6 KDA, and a 67% kill participation. So I can say right now with certainty that Glory is probably the main threat in the mid lane, but I think, consider that Ari is not the meta champion of course coming into the world and maybe not Nico so I think he has to rely on LeBlanc you know consider that LeBlanc is going to be like the main champion of the world with like the static shift not changing and LeBlanc top is now there oh you don't believe me LeBlanc here here are the, here are the LeBlanc top numbers they're scary right now they're, they're not looking good for everybody so I believe that he can play LeBlanc well 66.7% with a 4 KDA that's great but it's going to be it's not going to be great man it's not going to be great when you know your champion pool is going to be pinched and you have to play some really experienced players for him so I think for glory is going to be like can he get it up and running can he be dominant on his Ari on his Nico and can he do well to like elevate the rest of his team because if he doesn't I believe this team is going to be in trouble and I think it'll be early and often that the mid lane could be punished especially with probably an experienced jungler in this so yeah he needs to deliver the glory pun attended by the way Optimus is next in the bot lane 5.2 KD with a 73% kill participation, 31% damage at 26% gold. He can play Zaya and Kaiza, and that's basically it. That's all I'm gonna give you. 31 times he played with these two champions, of course. He also played Aphelios and Ash and Tristana and Nila and Zeri. 
But other than that, I just feel like it's Kaiser and Zaya and then nothing else. And considering the meta that we are right now, I think it's going to be Kaiser and Zaya and nothing else. And I think while his numbers are decent on, on both champions, Zaya 77% win rate with a 6.7 KDA, Kaiser 57.1% with a 5.2 KDA. I think these things are going to be pinched. I think, let's remember that you are playing in the big boys table and not like, you know, the small table in the VCS, of course. And I think it's time for you to showcase, is your Kaiser good enough? Is your Zaya good enough to beat the other big name players and the big name teams? So I think it's time for Artemis to showcase it that he can have a great champion pool, but I think his champion pool could be pinched like so many others. And I think, can he be diverse? Can he play the Aphelia as well? Can he play the Ash well? Can he play the Nyla well? That's going to be the question on everybody's minds. So he needs to be positioning well, he needs to play well, and he needs to be learned to diverse well. Or otherwise, it's going to be night-night for the bot lane pretty quick and pretty early. Pretty early. So all eyes are Artemis in the bot lane as usual. Finally, last but not least, is our good old boy, Bai, who used to be a damn esports member. He used to play Zin CBL because he only played two champions at time. Well, he played those two champions, but also he can play Rakan and Norel and the Alistar. And in case of Enchanters, he can also play Milio as well. So the guy is flexible enough for him to just join the team. Not much to say. 73% kill participation. That's probably it with a 6.1 KDA. I think he's decent. I think he can help Glory out. I think his, you know, his engage is going to be good enough to win. I think his, like, synergy with probably the mid lane is also good as well because you all know about support leaving their ball laner to do it, do their thing, and then, you know, the support had to go to the mid laner. So I think his synergy within the ball lane and the mid lane is going to be important in order to afford to win. So not much to say about Bai, but other than he has to be a great support going into the play -in. So, yeah. Before we get to further, let's just look at the statistics from the Team Wells perspective. So, strong blue side team as usual. They ban Nocturne a lot, of course. And of course, the, you know, the LeBlanc get banned a lot. So, all in all, I have to say that if LeBlanc is going to be banned most of the time, so it has to be against them. And since there's no other player other than the mid laner is good at LeBlanc, I think that spells trouble for the team. So, not much to say about it. Just hear the statistics of it and we can just move on to the conclusions. So, yeah, that should do it for the whole Team Wales experience. I I believe that this team is really really inexperienced but i think you know that's the beauty of this world is that any unknown team can pop up in any moment and i think it's time for them to show up in the playing state so with that being said we're closing the book on vietnam and team wells as a whole and in the next edition we are going to go to latin america for our final team in the play-ins the movie star rainbow seven until then please like and subscribe and do yourselves a favor and i will see you next time goodbye